What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. So as you probably know, finding good keybinds in Fortnite is definitely a bit of a tough process, especially if you're newer to mouse and keyboard or if you're trying to find out a new set after a long time of having the same one. It gets really, really difficult to figure out what's actually going to work best. And in today's video, I'm going to solve all those problems for you guys. And I'm going to be showing you guys the best keybinds for beginners, people switching to mouse and keyboard, or people who just want to find a new set of keybinds. This video is going to include a lot of information about the best sets of keybinds and actually give you guys multiple sets of keybinds that you can try out and hopefully by the end of this video you should have a new set of keybinds to practice with that should help you improve an absolute ton before we get into it be sure to drop a like if the video helps you out subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more and as always it's super appreciated if you could use code techo in the item shop it's 100 percent free for you and it seriously does help me out a bunch as always a giant thank you to everyone who uses it but with all that said and without further ado let's get into today's video so starting out today's video i want to talk about keybind fundamentals there are going to be five different things that i'm going to talk about in this section and these are all things that we want to have covered with our sets of keybinds and hopefully this just helps you guys get a better idea as to what you want to do with your keybinds and what actually makes a set of keybinds good. So starting out with our first fundamental, and this one is going to be called finger spreading. This one is very, very simple. Obviously on your left hand, you have five different fingers and obviously you want to make sure your keybinds are spread out through these fingers. So you're not just slamming your index finger on a hundred different binds because this is going to allow you to maximize your speed and make sure you're not overusing any of your fingers. The general recommendation is to have up to two keybinds in terms of your building and editing on each finger. So for example, if you want to have like your wall and your edit on the same finger then that's fine but when it gets to a point where you're doing your wall floor cone edit all that type of stuff maybe even some of your like weapons or something like that and you're doing those all on one finger it pretty much just becomes overload so overall you want to make sure your keybinds are spread out and that you can use a variety of fingers to hit each one generally up to two keybinds on each finger is optimal getting into our second fundamental for your keybinds and this one is going to be your mouse buttons now i know not everybody has mouse buttons specifically when it comes to this i'm talking about the side button on your mouse which are the ones you can pretty much click with your thumb and they're super easy to hit now i know not everybody has these but a lot of players do so i want to make sure it's known you definitely want to utilize these and generally you're going to want to use them for building and editing although it takes a little while to get used to and it takes some hand-eye coordination this is one of the most important things you can do because it's going to make it so much faster so if you're not already using side mouse buttons for your building and editing you really want to make sure you do that well more so your building not really your editing we'll get into editing later but definitely use them for some of your build binds our next fundamental is going to be distance to WASD. Distance to WASD is a very, very simple one. Essentially, you want to keep your keybinds as close to your WASD, aka your movement binds, as you possibly can. That way, you don't have to move your fingers too much and it's just easier to press everything. Having your keybinds far away from WASD basically makes it harder to do everything, so make sure they're close. Getting into our fourth fundamental, and this one is going to be movement ability. Especially in recent seasons, this has become a really, really important one. Having good movement in Fortnite is actually a pretty significant skill gap, and it's something that a lot of players struggle with, so you want to make sure you have movement ability what i mean by that is for the most part you want to be able to hit your w a s and d binds and you want to be able to do them as often as possible so sometimes you're going to be placing a structure or something like that and you can't press a certain bind but generally you want to maximize the amount of time that you actually have the ability to press w a s d specifically while you're building and editing and doing all that stuff this will allow you to maximize your movement and really take advantage of everything that comes with that and finally guys the last fundamental for any set of key binds is going to be personal comfort by personal comfort i basically mean do you feel good with the set of keybinds? Is it comfortable for you to press all the buttons? And do you feel like it flows well when you're actually building and editing? It's going to be a very individual thing, but obviously you want to make sure that your set of keybinds works for you. So just keep that in mind. Never use the set of keybinds that is quote unquote optimal that you don't actually prefer using. Make sure that when you select keybinds, you're not just doing it because some YouTuber said it's good, but because you actually feel good with it and it helps you to improve at the game. With all that said, guys, we're going to actually go ahead and get into three different sets of keybinds. For the most part, these should cover like 99% of players. So let's just get straight into it. Getting into keybind set number one, and this one is going to be your classic optimal binds type of setup, with most of your fundamentals being very well covered. You're pressing a maximum of two buttons with each finger. You utilize both your mouse buttons. All the binds are super close to WASD. You're able to get virtually full movement. And for most of you guys, this should be pretty comfortable. So getting into this set of keybinds, we're going to start off with our wall, which is going to be side mouse button. Your floor is going to be Q. Your ramp is going to be another side mouse button. Your cone is going to be left shift. Your trap is going to be tab. And finally, your edit is going to be E. This set of keybinds should work for like 95% of players out there. It's very optimal. It gives you great movement. And overall, it's just a fantastic set of keybinds for your mechanics, your movement, and virtually every area of your game. So this is definitely the number one set of keybinds that I would recommend you guys try. Getting into keybind set number two though, and this one is very focused on building and editing super fast with less regard for movement. So you won't get the full 360 degree movement perfectly like you would with the others, but this one is still a very good set of keybinds. And for those of you who are super mechanical, it might be worth trying this one out. Getting into this set 
set of keybinds, we're going to start out with our wall, which is on Q. Our floor is going to be a side mouse button. Our ramp is going to be F. Our cone is going to be a side mouse button. Our trap is going to be left shift. And finally, our edit is also going to be on E. This is another really good set of keybinds. I really don't have too much else to say about it. If you find that your kind of optimal keybind setup doesn't work super well for you, then this is definitely a really good alternative. It still covers most of your fundamentals. And if you want to have absolutely insane mechanics, then this one might even be more ideal. Just depends on the player, but definitely give it a shot. Finally, guys, getting into keybind set number three, and this one is going to be pretty unique because it's going to be specifically for people who do not have side mouse buttons. I know a lot of you guys are out there and you don't have side mouse buttons on your mouse, which is unfortunate and I definitely recommend you get them, but obviously you need to have good keybinds too. So let's get into it. This keybind set is going to include your wall being on Q. Your floor is going to be on V and ideally you're going to press this with your thumb. You still can press it with your index finger if you want, but you're going to see we do have some other index finger binds. So try to hit it with your thumb if you can. Your ramp is going to be on F. Your cone is going to be on left shift. Your trap is also going to be on tab. And finally, your edit is still going to be on E. This set of keybinds is another really, really good one. And it does cover most of the fundamentals without even having a mouse bind attached to it. Once again, I definitely recommend you do get a mouse that has side mouse buttons if you're focused on having the optimal keybind type of setup. But if you're not able to do that for any reason, then that set of keybinds should help you guys out. And it should be about 90% as good as the other ones. The only real disadvantage here is that you do have to use a lot of keyboard binds and your left hand might get exhausted. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. So definitely give that a shot. Finally, guys, getting into the last part of today's video, and the last thing I want to talk about is going to be additional binds. These are just going to be some extra binds that I want to talk about because they are pretty important and a lot of people struggle figuring out what to do for them. Getting straight into this, we're going to start with our reload bind. Now, this is the type of key bind that you want to press comfortably, but you don't necessarily have to do it fast because you're not building or editing with it. It's not something you have to do constantly, but you want it to be close and accessible just for convenience sake. So generally, I prefer to use my middle mouse button to reload, aka just pressing on my scroll wheel. I don't mean flicking the scroll wheel up and down, I mean actually pressing it. Only some mice are actually going to have the ability to do this, but I definitely recommend if your mouse is able to do it, that you do that, or at least take advantage of it for one of the other binds that we're talking about. The middle mouse button is definitely an overlooked one, and it saves a lot of space on your other binds, so definitely give this one a shot. Moving on to tactical sprint though, and this is another one of those binds that you use often enough, but it's not something you have to hit super, super quickly, just like the reload. It's something you just hit once and you're done. Generally, I recommend using R, T, or tab for this bind. These are all binds that are close enough, and they're easy enough to hit, and you really don't have to do anything super fancy for them. So use one of those and it should be all good. Moving on to our next bind and this one is going to be all about scroll wheel reset. Scroll wheel reset is something I recommend for every single keyboard and mouse player because it makes box fighting way easier. All you want to do is you want to set your secondary edit bind and your secondary reset bind both to the same direction on your scroll wheel and that way flicking your scroll wheel will reset a build. You want to make sure they're in the same direction and overall this should help you an absolute ton. It makes it so you can instantly reset any build and it definitely helps an absolute ton. It's one of those things that you don't notice too much but when you don't have it it makes a massive difference so overall scroll wheel reset is super important so i definitely recommend you get that set up it's super easy to do and it'll help you a ton and finally guys getting into our last part of this video and this one is going to be your weapon binds when it comes to weapon binds by default they're just going to be one two three four five six and i do generally recommend doing something like this so do one for your pickaxe two for your first weapon on and on but then depending on whether or not you can reach five and six comfortably you could replace those with some other nearby keybinds to make them just a bit more comfortable this will just make it so you don't have to reach super far to get access to the rest of your item slot so it's definitely worth doing if you find yourself struggling with that some of the binds you could use for this would be things like z x c or t however you decide to do it your weapon binds are definitely something you want to look into and hopefully that helps but with all that said guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the best keybinds for beginners people switching to mouse and keyboard or anyone else that wants good keybinds on fortnite if you found this video helpful then be sure to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more and as always it's super appreciated if you could use code techwin in the item shop it's 100 percent free for you it takes like five seconds to type in and it seriously does help me out a bunch as always a huge thank you to everyone who uses it and also guys last thing before we finish up this video definitely let me know down in the comments what videos you guys want to see next on the channel as you know i post a ton of fortnite tips and tricks videos and i'm always looking for ideas so if you have any good ideas you want to see then definitely let me know and there's a chance i might make them but with all that said thank you all for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now